Hi, my name is Morgan, and today our question is how are sounds produced and transmitted? We have it there. And then um, our short answer is by vibrating matter. Okay. And in general, the more intense the sound is, the louder that it would sing. And the less intense the sound, the lower that it would sing. Um, sound is a type of energy produced and transmitted by vibrating matter. And when compression and waves move through matter, which we know as this matter, what three things do we call this matter? Liquid, solid, and gas. Okay. okay. Um, the molecules in matter move back and forth in the direction which the wave is moving or traveling. As sound waves travel, molecules are pressed together and some parts which we know as compressions and spread out and some parts as we know as refraction. So our low volume, it doesn't make really a high pitch sound, it's more of a like deeper sound. And then we have our high volume and it makes more of a higher pitched sound and it, this one has more air pressure and this one has lower pressure. Okay, and we have our meanings. We have pitch, which is how high or low the sound is or seems. Then we have our refraction, which I just told you was when molecules are spread out. Compression, when molecules are pressed together tightly. We have frequency, which is the number of wavelengths in a given unit, of, in a given number of time. Wavelength of a sound is measured by the number of cycles completed per unit of time. And now we are going to do a demonstration. And Jackson, if you would hit the, this star, leave it on the table. Okay. okay, and what kind of sound do you think that makes? High pitch. Okay, so does it have more or less air uh, pressure? More. Okay, and then hit the styrofoam. Make sure. Which one is that? Below. And how much air? Does it have more or less air pressure? Less. Okay, so now we're going to put water in these. And now we're going to have Jackson hit the glass jar and um, tell us if there's a difference between hit the top first. That's what it was, and now hit the bottom where the water is. Is there a difference? No. You don't think there's a slight difference? Maybe there's slight. Do you think it's a high or a lower pitch? Low. <laughs> and then uh, we have the styrofoam cup here. If you would hit it, be careful because there's some that he has it cracked. Okay, now hit the top. Hit it like you mean it. <laughs> It's going to spin later! <laughs> no, it won't look. Is there a difference? No. You don't hear that? No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So is that on a higher or a lower pitch? A uh, lower. Okay, so now we have some graphs that show our wavelength. And then we have our refraction, which is, you can see the, if you can see it, the waves are more spread out, and then our compression is when they are closer and packed more tightly. And then the direction of travel would be going this way. Okay, and then we have another one of those, but it's just smaller and you can't really see it. But that has like a lot of compression, but the refraction, it's showing where it is more spread out than the other So Tennyson, how did you enjoy learning about sound waves and 